Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to what's sure to be an out-of-control Raw, coming off an epic Royal Rumble. Epic doesn't even begin to describe it, Michael. Rey Mysterio shocked the world by winning the Royal Rumble match again. And meanwhile, we have a new United States champion in Chris Jericho. Against all odds and with his job on the line, Chris Jericho triumphed. I'm sure that's not going to sit well with either Raw General Manager Stephanie McMahon, Big Show, or former champ Kofi Kingston. That's not a very good list of people to tick off. I see some repercussions in Jericho's future. Chris, have you seen Hornswoggle around? Tiny green guy, has a hat. Not since he magically conjured my cereal at breakfast, no. But I'll tell him you were looking for him if I find his secret rainbow lair. No, don't do that. Don't tell him I'm looking for him. Just come get me and tell me where he is. I really can't imagine having the interest or the free time to do any of that, but crazier things have happened. Don't worry, DMV. I'm not here to fight you. But I'm sure you have been put on the notice that Santino is no longer losing, like a loser loses. So when I have you out and down tonight, you have no need to be shamed. You are just another feather in Santino's winning cap. Man, you have got to be the least intimidating man I have ever seen. You look like a squirrel. You act like a squirrel, and I think you're speaking in squirrel. Do not make light of the mighty squirrel, MNOP. This squirrel, he is the winner squirrel. At Royal Rumble, as they often are, I had the odds against me. My career, my livelihood, was on the line. But once again, 
Chris Jericho overcame the obstacles and proved once and for all why I am the best in the world at what I do. And I'm wearing gold to prove it. What can I say? I'm a title belt magnet. And I'm prepared to attract yet another championship. Triple H, I'm coming for you. And when... Get lost. I'll give you an autograph later. Triple H, the game. I'm completely focused on you. Huh? You have bigger worries than Triple H. A week ago, you robbed me of becoming WWE Champion. Tonight, I get my revenge when I snap you in half. This isn't about championships. It's about my vengeance. Well, it's... <coughs> it's your funeral, Big Show. offense. I don't know if I'd say that's unorthodox as much as it is innovative. Oh, look at this. How do you even call a move like that? He does it again. Ooh. Forget the bathroom scales, Michael. Uh oh, here we go. Walls. Walls of Jericho. It's the walls of Jericho. What diabolical things are going through that mind right now? When you get in control like this, you want to throw everything at Jericho. Jericho with the code breaker. We should probably remind everyone that this is a non-title match. 
Like Big Show said earlier, this isn't about championships, it's about revenge. That'll cause some damage. And he lights up his chest with a chop. From the ring to the floor. He leaps into the air for a flying forearm. Oh my! Jericho's leaping to the top rope! Ow! What an elbow! And he rolls out, buying himself some breathing room. Don't take too long to gloat here, Big Show. The unorthodox offense. I don't know if I'd say that's unorthodox as much as it is innovative. What's the Big Show have to do to get back into this one, King? Well, he's only ever a couple big power moves away from ending the match. So now it's just a matter of catching his opponent. Jericho wasn't going to just lay down and let Big Show dominate him. There's a reason he's been a multi-time world champion, Michael. Jericho has the headlock. Great athleticism. Hooks the leg. One, two, three. Jericho wins. Jericho wins. Chris Jericho once again escapes Cirque Du. He should market his own brand of rabbit's feet. He'd make a fortune. It appears Jericho is now clear to target Triple H, just like he alluded to earlier. This victory had to boost Chris's confidence, but he hasn't beaten Triple H one-on-one -on -one in a long time. One more time. A flying forearm. Jericho controlling the head. Jericho believes that everything he does is perfect. And that move was pretty close to perfection. What's he planning here? Santino adding a little insult to injury. Let me remind everybody, there are no count outs. 
These competitors can stay out here as long as they like. Ooh, that one stung. Oh, and this one's spilling out of the ring. Oh, and that's a nasty collision with those steel steps. Jericho into the headlock. What's he doing? What's he doing with those steps? Oh my God, did you hear the impact of those steel steps? <laughs> Jericho's trying. Jericho's looking to put him in the walls. It's the walls of Jericho. Jericho, code breaker. Jericho hits the code breaker. Again, this is no disqualification. That's right. If he finds an object under that ring, it's just as legal as a headlock. What do you think Santino needs to do here, King? He's quickly becoming attached to that chair. Oh, geez. You know, these competitors are so evenly matched, I wouldn't even begin to guess at this point. Get ready to see more damage done with that chair. Steel and flesh meat once more. Oh no, oh my gosh, and that's a thin pad outside the ring. It offers absolutely no protection. He's looking at it again. Road breaker, double knees to the skull. And will this be it? One, One two, two, three, three. And Jericho picks up the win. Here's your winner, Chris Jericho.